All right, so I decided to make a little video here to show anybody how to install their virtual machines and uh, grab some screenshots of them. So I assume you have your hard drive here, your external with your two VMDK files and your virtual box install. This computer doesn't have it, so we're going to be installing it here. So. All right, so this is up and installed. Now we're going to add some new machines. I call mine with database. This is going to be the bigger file that Ed gave us. Uh, you can set this, you know, at least 1024, but anywhere you want. I'll go 1024. Use an existing virtual hard drive. And then you're going to search for your external drive here and then navigate over to where you have the bigger, well, one of the two VMDKs. Let me just see which one of these is bigger. Uh, that's the 12 gig. Okay, so this is the one I want. And then we're going to create that. So that's one. Now I'm going to create without database. I like to give these the same names on every computer I put them on. That way, if, just in case there's a conflict. So it's going to navigate, it's going to automatically go to your old position, the, the last file that you installed. So you want to make sure you go to the, the other VMDK there. Okay, so now we have them both there. Uh, we're going to grab a screenshot of this. So you hit the print screen button on your keyboard. Then you're going to open MS Paint. Everybody should have this. You're going to hit Control V into MS Paint. And then we're going to hit the crop button once so you get control of the selection area tool. And select you know what you want for the screenshot. Hit crop. And then we're just going to save as. I'm going to throw these on my desktop just so you guys can see where these are, we're going to call this screen one and I'm just going to control Z to get a blank page again and now we're going to start the two machines and take another picture So one, two These are resizable, so once it starts up, it's going to get real big. You can just shrink it back down for the for the picture's sake. That's one up. You know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a shot with this guy running up top. These two computers run below it. I've got this one sized really big for my laptop. As you can see, it looks funny now that I'm on my main desktop here. Alrighty. So, I'll hit that print screen button. We'll go back to paint. Control V to paste it into paint. Now we already have a selected area, so we got to crop it just to get control of that. And okay, so as you'll notice, you don't see the virtual machines in there, which is interesting. Um, I ran into this problem earlier. So what you need to do is actually, I've, I'm actively selecting this. You have to actively select something else because when I actively select this window it wants me to operate within this virtual machine so we're gonna select this guy up here that should capture the other two in the background we will try that one more time
and control V to paste. There we go. And now we have our machines because it doesn't think we, you know, any actions that you do on the keyboard when you've selected that window will will have you doing the actions in that virtual machine. So you got to be selected somewhere else. Okay, and this looks good. The selection area is good, so we're just going to save as. And we'll do screen one. Uh, I'm going to do it as a JPEG. And unfortunately, I don't see JPEG. No, it's still saved as a PNG. That's strange. Let me try that again. Ah, there it is. I missed it. Going too fast. Here you go. Save as JPEG. And I guess it did work last time. And that's it. So then you're going to take uh, your 500 to 700 page, oops, 500 to 700 word paper and zip it up with your screenshots, depending on how many you take, and then uh, upload that zip file for editing.